fight one of them, you fight all of them. Hey. What's cracking, G? It's your boy Cooper. You already know my channel about love, life, and loyalty. And I got a little information piece, a little informative piece for y'all today. So I hope y'all enjoy it. Like, comment, subscribe. They ain't let the GDs do the dope, but they let Bruno in. Damn, they got them GDs out there, boy. Uh. Yo, Metro Boomin. Like another fucking post, nigga, that got my name in it, nigga. And, and 21 Savage will not be calling me talking about nothing like chill off my mans. Nigga, you a whole sissy who been crying when I get on your stupid ass, nigga. I start getting on your stupid ass talking about all them bitches that you been fucking that I been fucking to in LA, nigga. That been pillow talking to me and you all get right, on- All right, y'all. So, I caught this live last night, but man, I was too tired to report on, to report on the situation. But, so, academics had a situation where- Ooh, excuse me. He had to expose himself to basically stop some some mud, some slut. Well, I'm messing up already, y'all. Some smut being thrown on his name, man. So his ex, or whatever you want to call this girl, because he keeps saying they was on and off, but you definitely was giving this girl the bags. I don't know what to call it, but the shorty he was messing with for like two years, she been over here basically blackmailing him. Not blackmailing him so like in the aspect of, okay, I need this amount of money, or I'm gonna tell this. Nah, every time he'll make her mad, she'll be like, hey, I'm gonna put this information out for you, on you. So about last year in the summertime, academics had some shorty he called over, and she's, I think, got a train ran on her by two of his homies. Academics found out because he saw it on the surveillance cameras. So when he, you know, contacted the girl and told her, hey, man, you petty. How you gonna come out to see me over here smashing the homies? You know, all that blase, blase stuff, right? So... The shorty ends up doing what a lot of weaker, weak, weak females would do. Oh, I don't remember what happened. Oh, they took advantage of me. And then she went to the police about it. So the police raided his house. And so far, he didn't get charged. The case got dropped on him and I think his homies. He claiming the charges got dropped on his homies, but they not here to speak about it. So I don't know. But um, <clears throat> sorry about that, y'all. But anyway, so the chick he ends up uh, exposing it himself and the chick ends up uh oh before he exposed it the chick destroyed his crib she she caused a whole bunch of problems but the main thing that really mattered was that the chick had stole 500k he's saying that she stole out his saves he's saying that she was all up in you know what i'm saying like all up in his stuff which you know i mean if this is an on and off chick how does she know the combination to your safe, man? But, I, you know, I don't know. I can't speak for the man. You know what I'm saying? He lived a different life than I am, so I can't speak on him. But anyway, so that all happened last night with him exposing it and telling him everything that's done happened. So, you know, the internet blew up, especially it, that happening at, like, what, 9, 10 o'clock at night? You know, today, this morning was, you know, it was some shit. So everybody giving their input, they laugh and call him the simple of the year. You know what I'm saying? That's debatable because... You know, I mean, the hell can't might be the simple year, but I don't know. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't gonna, I ain't the judge. I ain't the judge, jury, execution on this. But anyway, so I guess Metro Boomin had a lot to say. But before we get to him and Metro Boomin, with him going off Metro Boomin, I'm gonna let y'all see the clip of last night of him basically telling what happened with the girl. The time I used to have a million dollars cash in my crib. That's a fact. Do you know this bitch stole half a million dollars from me? cash bro i had them in safes and all type of shit nigga i'm not checking the money all the time i had money just sitting there i gamble nigga when i gamble i pick money up cash when shorty moved to houston like whatever you know we like broke up or whatever not really peeping shit nigga i got a million dollars in cash a million <laughs> not talking about a million <laughs> one day i get a new money counter i said let me try my new money counter and i get a band so I, I, I like count my money and wrapping the bands around them shits i'm sorry i'm sorry if you're not like that i'm sorry so i'm counting my money my nigga i had a million i remember i had a million now i might have give my mom like 30 grand here i might have but i should have like Definitely over like 950. Nah, definitely about 100. 900,000. I count my money. 
I got four hundred thousand dollars. I'm confused. I'm like, what? This shit don't make sense. What the fuck? I got four hundred thousand. Not that's a lot of money, but I'm like, what the four hundred thousand? What the fuck? Where my money goes? So now I'm thinking about. I do got some wild spending habits. What the fuck? Let me tell you how I figured this shit out, chat. This woman has been arrested once or twice or whatever because of her actions in my crib. By the way, the last month, in the last 30 days, the police literally, she was naked, took her out, had to bring her to some mental asylum. She was like butt booty naked because she's, um, first of all, she's drunk. Now, let me explain something about Cheyenne. Cheyenne is someone who's a victim of my lifestyle. I've been drinking for 10 years straight every day. Every day, since college, every day. If you are around me, if you a chick that get in my, my lifestyle, it's gonna be intoxicating. You know why? You probably don't gotta work. And I start drinking at about 8.22 a.m. It's very intoxicating, I'm sorry. Now, her problem is that she doesn't have a limit. She doesn't know how to stop. She doesn't know how to chill. She doesn't know, hey, this is too much. So the last time when she got like, she drank a whole bottle of Casamigos. Like, like even now at my crib, cause she was at my crib, I don't even know. She probably at my crib right now trying to break shit, who knows? At my crib, I got a high, I got a whole bar. I got a whole big ass bar. I got to hide bottles of liquor because she'll drink so much till she's an intoxicated face. She was so intoxicated when the police brought her out that they had to bring the, 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 um, the EMT people in, look, yo, she locked herself in my crib. They had to kick my door down again because she wouldn't open my doors. I seen her in the crib. She's mad drunk. She grabbed a big long knife. I said, I ain't letting the bitch cut my throat. I'm leaving. I walk out the crib. She locked every door and then the police come and based on what her mom and I told her what, uh, told them what happened, they said, we can't leave until we do a wellness check to make sure she didn't kill herself or something like that. She wouldn't open the door. They kicked my fucking door down again. Who's paying for it? You're right. I'm a bozo. I get it. All right. So that was just a small little clip because the, the whole crash out video was like an hour, 50 minutes, I think. Maybe an hour 20. But anyway, so now what brings us to... Ooh, excuse me. Man, I just keep burping, y'all. <laughs> uh, this brings us to the part where now this morning i guess he crashed out on metro booming which him and metro booming been beef they've been beefing i don't know like maybe a year now he he say stuff to him on and off he don't be talking to him as much as he do with his uh blue face but he beefing with him as well but anyway so he just crashed out on metro booming so now that's what y'all about to see shit we, we here for the bullshit so let's see what the bullshit about last time i posted you 20 times on my page you was crying nigga balling nigga you not like that you the bitch made rapper, nigga. You the bitch made beat maker, nigga. Just keep making a beast, nigga. If Savage wasn't cool with you, I'd have been on you for, nigga. I would have been violated you every single day, nigga. Go, go mourn in peace, little nigga. Don't try to get on me, cause I'm, I'll be on ten with everybody. Don't take what I got going on for weakness. I'll be on everybody's ass. The difference between me and you. You a bitch. You running a rabbit hole when you got something going on. I air my shit out and I sit on it and I stand on that shit too. I'm here. Talk to me nicely. You pussy. You a bitch. Posted you three times. You kept crying to everybody. Why he keep doing this to me? I asked him nicely. Why I told him, please just stop posting me. Bitch, I post you 50 times today, nigga. You got a problem? Drake just punked you. I punk you too. Fuck is you thinking, nigga? Matter of fact, I kick it off like that. I kick it off like this. Metro woman, a straight bitch. Nigga, I don't like posts. I don't tweet and delete. Nigga, I leave it up. I leave it up, nigga. Metro booming a bitch. And I act niggas too. Don't hit Savage for shit. Metro, come talk to me, nigga. Tweet some shit about me, nigga. You a straight bitch. Everybody know that. Straight bitch. You the most bitch nigga in the whole industry, nigga. Even more than me, nigga. Stop playing, nigga. Like, you know you a hoe. Drake is punking you on a steak stream, nigga. <laughs> Tweeting deleters like come on nigga you a whole bitch nigga you a whole bitch nigga you been mourning for like three years nigga go back to morning pussy stop playing with me nigga fuck is you talking about fuck is you talking about 
What you what y'all niggas must think that oh act oh 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 it's open season don't act ain't no open season don't act nigga I put my dirt out there because when I talk about y'all dirt I don't want y'all niggas to be like oh we don't know nothing about you you be hiding your shit nigga you could talk about me too but I talk about you too we good so you can say that about me and I'm glad with it just when I mention you and how pussy you are don't have savage hit me like yo act man yo leave my man leave my man alone yo he just kind of emotional I don't want to hear it nigga you a bitch. Drake done hold you. I'm hoeing you. You ain't gonna do nothing more than play on the fucking keyboard, nigga. Facts. So my final thoughts on this whole thing is academics be getting into it with a lot of niggas. You know what I'm saying? Skip my legs. But he get into it with a lot of dudes. And I be wondering, like, man, what's gonna happen when he run into half the people that he's beefing with? You know what I'm saying? Is he gonna is he gonna fight flight? What is it? Fight flight or freeze? You know what I'm saying? Which one is he gonna do? But he be having security like most guys he got security so i don't think it'll ever be a day where he gonna end up running into somebody and it's gonna be fight flight or freeze nah it's gonna be security versus security <laughs> but yeah man um i don't know what he talking about with metro boomer said he grieving i don't know what he talking about oh you know what I, I don't i don't know if that's what it is but this is what i think it might be so it was like so him and drake they've been beefing for like a year now too they've been beefing and it was seeming like Metro Woman kind of been like, but heard about that relationship ending, which I mean, who wouldn't be, you know what I'm saying? It's like, man, we had a good combo. Me, you and Savage, you know what I'm saying? Me, you and 21, y'all, we making like some good music. I'm producing some hot beats for y'all, stuff like that, man. We going up, you know what I'm saying? But they always say, you know, some people are in your life for a season, you know what I mean? So that's just what it is. So you need to go ahead, you know what I'm saying? Pick yourself up. And get back out here making some beats, man. I need to hit some new tracks, bro. Music been dead for a little hot sec, you know what I mean? So it's time for Metro Boomer to get it together. But yeah, man. Hey, I appreciate all the feedback I got back on that Charleston White video, man. I like responding to the comments. Some I won't respond to because ain't, ain't no point. But I like when y'all give me y'all y'all input on it, man. So comment down on this video. Tell me what y'all think, what y'all like, y'all dislike, how y'all feel, man. And I'll get back to y'all. If the comment worked it, I'll get back to y'all, man. But it's your boy Cooper. My channel about love, life, and loyalty. Some of my homies say knowledge, wisdom, understanding. I catch y'all on the next one. On my end, kill a nigga playing both sides. I'm locked in so you know that the rope ties.